Hey Ron Paul supporter. I wanted to make this video real quick to um, talk about the campaign for Ron Paul and how a lot of people are getting discouraged and I wanted to encourage you to not get discouraged and to assure you that he's doing much better than the media is telling us that he's doing. And um, I have uh, been seeing people writing things on the websites and, and uh, comments and things that he hasn't won any states and uh, why did you know why is he why doesn't he give up and it's because you're listening to the media and I ran across this uh, one thing on one of the websites and they were asking him that says the, the campaigns in it to win it posture seems highly improbable given the post super Tuesday state of play and his answer was it's not far-fetched at all. Most of the delegate projection is simply that. Speculation based on how people think delegates will be um, allotted based on performance in non-binding straw polls. They are going to be elected through the state convention process. It's our strategy to attack those state conventions, move through that convention process, and capture delegates that way. The reporting of delegates attainment is largely skewed by the media right now. And that's true. And I know that a lot of people don't understand um, exactly how the elections work. And so I wanted to kind of give you a, a brief, a briefing of what his strategy is and how he's doing this. And part of the states will be primary states, and part of them are caucus states. And on the primary states, he goes in. You go in and you vote like you would in a na national election. Um, it's a private vote. You go to the voting machine, and um, and then the state will decide delegates and send them on to the national convention. So in the caucus states, it's a little different because uh, what happens is communities of people will gather and discuss the delegates, and then they will take a straw poll, which is just uh, pieces of paper that are handed out to the people with the names of the candidates on them, and you mark off which one you'd like to see win and hand them back in and at that point a lot of people go home and what they're reporting to you on the news is the counts from the straw polls and they are assuming that by the counts that the people are getting for the straw polls that um, they will get that many delegates to be sent up to the next uh, convention which would be the county and then the state and then the nationals and um, here's the deal when they're done doing the straw polls, most people get up and go home, and Ron Paul can uh, Ron Paul supporters don't do that. They stay, and they have a business meeting where they select the delegates. And uh, usually, you don't have to be supporting any candidate to be a delegate. In fact, this year probably it's better if you don't tell them who you're supporting. <laughs> And what happens is they you get up there and you tell them um, I've lived in the city for this long and and I have uh, this many kids and and I work at such and such a place and I'd like to be your delegate and uh, so they vote the delegates in and then they go the delegates go on to the next convention and it is assumed that they will be voting for whoever won the straw poll. But it's not a law, nor is it uh, in the rules anywhere that it has to be done that way. And um, once you get to the next level convention, you can vote for whoever you want because it's a private vote. And um, my dog's bothering me here for a minute. <laughs> okay. So it's a private vote, and nobody knows who you're voting for. So that's what Ron Paul supporters are doing. They're getting voted in as delegates and then they go to the next level and vote for Ron Paul and um, it sounds a little bit mm, like it's not a nice strategy to do or cheating kinda but it's is it really cheating I mean seriously the Romney people have been uh, told to not vote in any delegates that are under 30 because they're probably Ron Paul supporters and um, and all the stuff that they've been doing to Ron Paul I mean come on he's got a lot more support and he would have a landslide of support had the media told the truth about what's really going on instead of lying to the Americans and had the Americans really awakened to what's happening to us 
he would win in a landslide. So I think, you know, fair is fair. We are playing their game. And so uh, however we got to do it, we got to save America. And uh, don't you think so? I think so. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening. And don't lose faith. Keep keep on keeping on. I mean, we've we still got a good chance. And uh, and he's, he's doing a lot better than they're telling you that he's doing. So um, if you haven't gone to your caucuses yet, go and get to be a delegate. You know, tell everybody that you want to be a delegate and stay for the business meeting afterwards and get voted in and go on to the next convention and uh, so on and so forth. And let's get Ron Paul in for president 2012. Thanks for listening. Bye now. <laughs> Say bye-bye. <laughs>